Hi fam, it's Sweet Truth. Do you dare listen? Yo, today is the day that the Lord has made and I will rejoice and be glad in it. I don't know about y'all, but I will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. The joy of the Lord is my strength. It is my strength today. It is my strength this week. And I pray that it will be your strength as well. Today, I'll be reading from Psalm 4, 1 to 8. And y'all, I am so excited to this. Or rather, for this, this is the second part of David's psalm. Remember, uh, in the very recent episode, Psalm 3 was... David's psalm as well, but it was like part one. So this today is like part two of David's psalm. Amen. And so let us pray. Father God, I just want to thank you for this day, Jesus Christ. May you go before us in this day, Father God. May you surround us with your praises. May your blessings be upon us, Father God, in this day, in this week. May your favor be upon us in this week, Father God. May your protection be upon us, Father God, in this day, in this week. Holy Spirit, Spirit of the living God, go before us. Guide us, shield us, bless us, be with us, protect us, Father God. We are trusting in you, Father God. We are leaning on you, Father God. We are depending on you, Father God. So be with us. Live the way, Father. We glorify your name and honor you and bless you. May your name be highly praised. May your name be highly glorified. We thank you for the word today, Father God. May you speak to us and speak through me. In your name, Jesus Christ, I pray this. Leaving everything in your hands, God. Amen and amen. So, y'all, grab your Bibles, grab your books, and everything else. We are about to feast on this word today. Amen. And again, that is Psalm 4, 1 to 8. And today I'll be reading from my New Life Bible Vision. And let's get right into it. It reads Answer me when I call, O oh my God, who is right and good. You have made a way for me when I needed help. Be kind to me and hear my prayer. O sons of men, how long will you turn my honor into shame? How long will you love what is of no use and run after lies? Know that the Lord has set apart for him who is God-like for himself. The Lord hears when I call to him. Shake with anger and do not sin. When you are on your bed, look into your hearts and be quiet. Give the gifts that are right and good and trust in the Lord. Many are asking, who will show us any good? Let the light of your face shine on us, O Lord. You have filled my heart with more happiness than they have when there is so much grain and wine. I will lie down and sleep in peace, O God. O Lord, you alone keep me safe. Amen and amen, yo. And that is the whole chapter of Psalm 4, 1 to 8. So, yo, I just love the way David writes this psalms. He starts out by, you know, praising God. And other times it's like he's asking God a question, you know. And he's like, oh, answer me, oh Lord, oh God, when I call you. And then he quickly transitions it into like, you know, like, why are people after me, you see? And so after it starts out as like him just giving, you know, thanking God and everything, then he's like, you know, there's a part of him that always questions why people are after him. Because at this time, uh, there was a period of time in David's life when you know, enemies were all, like, wanting to have him killed, and we know that even from Psalm 3, that his own son, Absalom, was after him, you know, so he had so many people out there that were after him, you know, and so he's asking this question, too, and he's like, you know, how come, like, why are all these people after me, you know, like, why are all these enemies after me, but what I love about David is, even though he's asking these questions and curious as to why, God's chosen one would be chased after and sought after by evil and all uh, 
a man and evil people that are trying to harm him. He never loses sight of who God is in his life. And he says, God, I will trust you regardless of my situation. I know I am being chased by evil. I know I am being chased by men and everything. Like when things are against me, God, I will trust you. And that is one big uh, attribute that I love about David is that regardless of what he was going through at any period of time, you know, the pain, the anger, the, you know, him being chased, him being troubled and everything. At the end of the day, David always laid it down like this, like, I would trust you, God. Like, at the end of the day, he trusted God, you know, despite of what he was going through. It didn't matter his situation. It didn't matter what um, he was facing that day or that month or that week or that season. At the end of the day, David always trusted God. And if there is one thing that we can learn from David is that we should learn this. Trust God at the end of the day. In your situation in your circumstance in whatever you are going through who are you trusting at the end of the day is my question to you who are you trusting at the end of the day are you trusting yourself are you trusting your friends are you trusting your parents are you trusting god because learn this one thing at the end of the day, there's only so much that these other people can do for you. You know, there's only so much that your parents can do for you. There's only so much that your friends can do for you. There is only so much that you can do for yourself as well. But the one that can do it all for you is God. And so my encouragement to you today is trust God at the end of the day, at the end of your circumstance, at the end of your uh, whatever it is that you're going through, your situations. Trust God at the end of the day. Trust the one who knows you. Trust the one who made you. Trust the one who fights your battles. Trust the one who heals you. Trust the one who protects you. Trust the one who provides for you. And that is none other than our Father God who is in heaven. And so, yo. And so, y'all, if there is anything that I can tell y'all today, is that you should just trust God. And I love this foe that says, you know, when you are on your bed, look into your hearts and be quiet. And verse 5 as well. Give the gifts that are right and good and trust in the Lord. So, my question to you is, when you set the time, that private time, that personal time, you know, that intimate time to spend with God, are you looking into your hearts? Are you searching, you know, what's in your heart? David is like, when you are on your bed, you know, when you are quiet, look into your hearts. What is in your heart? What is in your heart? Are you trusting God? Are you leaning upon God? And I also love verse 6 that says that many are asking who will show us any good. You know, and I feel like that's the question on so many people's minds these days. It's like, you know, when will this end? When will the good come? When will the good come? Who will show us any good? And David kindly answers this for us and says, Let the light of your face shine on us, O Lord. So that, that means that God, God's light. When God's light show, shines upon us, that is the good. Who will show us the good? Who will show us any good? That is God. God is the only one who can show you goodness. And then he says, you have filled my heart with more happiness than they have. Who are they? The other people, you know, that depend on other things for their happiness. You know, they depend on wine. They depend on goods. They depend on materialistic things for their happiness. And David says, I have more happiness than them. Why? Because David's happiness comes from God. It is pure. 
the happiness that God that God gives you is pure. So it's like at the end of the day, you know, where are you uh, leaning for or looking for for your happiness from? Is it from God or is it from your own efforts? Is it from your materialistic things and all the things around you? Whom are you seeking for your happiness? And then I love that he ends it off with saying, I will lie down and sleep in peace. Oh Lord, you alone keep me safe. Look at that. You alone. Meaning, the only thing that kept, that kept David safe, the only thing that keeps us safe is not our own efforts. It is not the police. It is not our parents. It is not our siblings. It is not our friends. The only one who keeps us safe is God. Which brings me back to my question to you again is, who are you depending on for your safety? Because I am here to let you know and to tell you that your safety comes from God. You alone, Lord, keep me safe. And all my life, God alone is the one that has always kept me safe. And I am sure without a shadow of doubt that he is the only one that has kept you guys safe. If you guys sit down and look into your heart and just try to, uh, you know, think over like... Uh, situations that you guys have been through and you're like ask yourself like do you think y'all would really have gotten out of the, that situation if it wasn't for God will you guys still be here today in some situations if it wasn't for God you have to get to a point where you recognize that wait a minute at this point at a and b at so 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 and so and so I wouldn't have made it out I wouldn't be this way I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for the love and the protection the guidance of God God keeps us safe at the end of the day so who are you trusting at the end of the day who are you depending on at the end of the day my hope, my encouragement is that you would depend on God at the end of the day. That you will lean upon God at the end of the day. And so, yeah, I hope you've been blessed by today's segment. If there is anyone willing to turn away from their sinful ways and pray the repentance prayer with me, like I mentioned before, that I do this at the end of every segment, I would love you to quiet your hearts down and kindly repeat after me. Dear God, I know I am a sinner. And I ask for your forgiveness. I believe Jesus Christ is your son. I believe that he died for my sins. And that you raise him to life. I want to trust him as my savior. I want to depend on you, Father God. For my protection. To depend on you, God, for your provision. In my life. And to follow you, God, as Lord. From this day forward. Guide my life. And help me to do your will. I pray this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen and amen. And if you pray that prayer, y'all, the angels dance and sing and rejoice. And God says, welcome. You've done well, my son, my daughter, y'all. Just get ready to be blessed, y'all. Be blessed. Be encouraged. And always remember to be fearless. Have a blessed day.